Hello everybody. I have an unboxing for you. It is a Diamond Art Club. On the back of the box, we have kit contents. We have how diamond painting works. And it has this really pretty holographic symbol. This is a round diamonds, diamond art kit. And this is the pi and this is the picture sanctuary. It is by Chuck Pinson. Beautiful, beautiful. Like I said, this is a round shaped diamond painting kit. It is well, the drills are round. The picture is rectangle. The size is 27 inches by 20 inches, or 69 centimeters by 51 centimeters. I will link this piece on their website in the description box below if you are interested in checking it out for yourself. It comes with a sticker with a picture of the piece and all of the information. Sanctuary by Chuck Pinson. It comes with their standard toolkit. This is a round and it has some baggies, a tray, a diamond painting pin, two axes, a grit, a pen grip, and some multi-placers. It the canvas comes wrapped in a plastic sleeve to protect it from the elements. Before I show you guys this kit, I am going to roll it backwards. It is made of poured glue, which means that you can do that. You would not want to do that on a double-sided adhesive glue because it would ruin the double-sided adhesive. Each kit comes with, from Diamond Art Club, comes with step-by-step -step instructions, which shows you how to diamond paint. It also gives you a discount code to use on future purchase, on a future purchase. All right, in here we have a bigger sticker sheet, which once again has the title of the piece, the artist, gives you a place to write the start date and the end date, and it gives you the dimension, the dimension information for the piece. Beautiful picture of the piece, and it has these removable sticker labels to label your kit, your uh, your storage that you're putting your drills in for when you kit up. I think my, the, here are the drills, look at those. I think for my, I think when I go to kit up this piece, I'm gonna do an ASMR style video. So if you go to watch the kitting up video for this and you're like, uh, she's not talking. Yeah, I'll probably do it that on purpose. <laughs> I haven't done, I don't think I've done one of those. One uh, Usually I keep myself busy talking and, oh, I'm not sure it's always what I want to do. I think sometimes it's nice to, to, to mix it up. Here is the canvas. So pretty. This is one of those that as you work on it and finish it, I think it's just going to be absolutely gorgeous. So this has 47 colors in it. As you can see, the canvas is scalloped and surged. That helps prevent fraying. On the, on the bottom of this canvas, as with all the other ones that I've unboxed, I'm pretty sure, it has their social media information. On the right, it has their lifetime warranty information. So if you are missing drills or have an issue, you can contact them and they most likely will be able to help you. On the bottom left, you have their licensing information. 
Diamond Art Club does legally license their artwork, which is really an important thing. It has all the dimensions and everything on there as well. The top, you have Diamond Art Club's logo. Logo. You have their logo. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. On the left, upper left, and on the bottom right, you have the color chart, which gives you the colors in numerical order, gives you the symbol, and it gives you the color, the DMC color code. Looks like this one has three, four ABs. I am going to read for you the description of this piece from the Diamond Art Club website. It says, feel the gentle spray of mist upon your skin as you stand before this picturesque oasis. Proceed slowly into the glowing tangerine river before you as it reflects the surrounding fragrant foliage. Quietly make your way through the cool waters, getting ever nearer to a timid young deer just upstream. So it might be kind of hard to tell because this picture is so dark and this is just kind of looks like a bunch of blobs everywhere. But we, this is a really pretty scene. I like to think it's kind of hidden away in the forest somewhere. You have a waterfall and you have trees on that side and trees on this side. They're really pretty uh, glowing maple type trees. There's a couple of deer here. Is there two or just one? There might just be one. And you have bushes and flowers and a little pond or lake or something. Let's go ahead and look at the drills. There's not a lot of drills because this is, you know, a smaller piece. It's a 27 by 20 inch. But look at all those really pretty colors. Yeah. All right, we have 815, 317, one bag of 310. We have 934, 498, 935, 3371. There's two, there's two bags of those, which is a really dark brown. 938, 3854, 3855. 937, 414, 814, two bags of those, a darker burgundy color, 3772, 779, 3064, 321, 3346, whoa, that is a really pretty bright purple. That is not showing up in the camera as pretty as it is in person, let me tell you. 915, 666, 318, 415. Then the smaller packaged packages of drills, we have 413, 646, 3771, 645, 3347, 762, 890, 3860, 3340, 3799. Wait a minute. Was that the one that I said there was two bags of or was that something different? That's... Nope, that was 3371. I don't ask me how I got those to anyways. 3799, 3776, 141. That is one of the Aurora Borealis drills. These are special drills that shine like a rainbow. They have the they have a base color and then they have a coating put over the top of them. Number 647. Number 103, that is another Aurora Borealis drill. 100, 
another Aurora Borealis drill. 606-3348-754-917. Oh, there's another bright, really pretty purpley pink color. 436. 133, not very many of those, but that is also an Aurora Borealis drill. Gorgeous. 3824, 3828, 951, and 340. Cool. Let's check out where those AB drills go. So the light green one the 100 is a number one and i see a little bit oh, oh no where to go <laughs> oh there it is i see a little bit right here in this flowery thing there um oh up in the sky up here in the sky you can see all those ones. By the way, the clarity of the chart, the symbols, is pretty clear. A lot of these symbols in this one are kind of, I would not consider them basic. I mean, some of them are basic, but some of them, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of them seem like they're a little more complex of a pattern so it makes them a little less clear but they're still really easy to to read they're just a little more complicated than just a line or one dot because they have multiple dots and squigglies and stuff but i mean you have 47 colors so you gotta get creative i think when you have that many all right number two which is the reddish orange yes the reddish orange is a symbol two with a circle around it i don't know why they didn't just make it a two maybe because of it mixing against other colors i don't know we have some down here in this water and around the edge of the water here and that's where I see that color. Oh, there's a little bit up in the tree right here. I didn't see any in other parts of the tree. And I would think there would be more than just one spot of the tree. But I don't know, that's what I see. Oh, there's a little bit, there's like three, three, three spots right up there. All right, the next color, which I think is the brighter orange, 133 is with a symbol of a three. There's some more twos right there. Um, there are some threes here along the edges of this water as well. There is one right here in this bush. There is one right here in this bush. Oh, and, and three other ones right here. Um, are there any of those in this tree? I have to pull a little bit closer to see because one of the things, and this is not show, this is another thing that's not showing up in the camera so much, um, is <laughs> there's a lot of red. And so there's a lot of red on each of the symbols there. So it kind of messes with your eye a little bit. I would say that is one of the more negative things that I'm seeing about this canvas, but I still think it's good quality. Yeah, that's all I see for those threes. So then we have the white Aurora Borealis drill, which is symbol number four. And unless I'm mistaken, yeah, I don't even see any in the waterfall. That's all going to be in this white tree right here. So that's going to really shine and be super pretty. Okay, guys, I don't think there's anything else that I forgot to 
mention or show you but it's possible if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below give me a thumbs up if you like this video and like i said if you're interested in checking out this piece i will leave the link in the description box below thanks for watching guys i'll talk to you next time bye